Through the years, I've used a lot of different blues for my skies. But at the moment, my favorites are King's Blue Light and Scheveningen Blue, a lovely greenish blue. But maybe it's not so much the exact colors that count, but how you apply them. The real secret lies in painting multiple layers of different blues in ever more transparent layers. The bottom layers keep shining through with a sparkling deep blue sky as a result. Of course, you need a fast drying medium to get this done. Otherwise, you will need a lot of time between doing the different layers. That's why I use the liquid light gel. Slowly I'm darkening the blue to create a smooth transition from a light to a darker blue. Don't know how I always manage to get paint on my hands. The stippler is a crucial brush for me. It helps spread the paint to get the gradients that are essential for a realistic sky. On top of that, it creates a very fine texture that will add to a vibrating surface. I'm barely touching the surface. I want to smoothen it without totally removing the fine stippler texture. On your screen, the effect of the different layers on top of each other is probably less visible than in reality, but I hope some of it still stands. When you're painting a sky, you should always be aware of the position of the sun. Traditionally, it's kept outside the picture frame, which is probably a wise thing to do. You can't compete with the sun, now can you? The sky is lighter on the side of the sun, which means you have two gradients to take into account. One from the bottom to the top of the sky, and one as you get closer to the position of the sun. Another layer of blue to slowly build up the sky color. Ultramarine blue is a pretty intense color, so I'm softly wiping it off a bit and there is just a hint of color left. One last tip. Don't forget to wait till the previous layer is dry. And remember, your patience will pay.